Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to begin by testing out if our characters are loading into the scene when we actually come to the choose character scene. So as you can see, I'm using the fight bot, which is free on the Unity Asset Store. And here's the standard prefab. Now I've gone ahead and uh, made different materials for each of the characters. So they're all a different color. But you can go ahead, import all the characters you wish to use. But once you've done that, regardless of where they are in the folders here, you need to come to Assets and create another folder. And we're going to call this Resources. We'll open up that one and we'll come back to Prefabs. We need to select the characters and drag them into the Resources folder. So now, all my characters are inside this folder. Now, your character names must be the same as they are here in the Choose Characters script. And that includes the capitalization. Any mistake, and this will not work, so please make sure they are named exactly. So with that in place, let's come here and we'll load our splash screen. Now I already have a controller plugged in. So let's hit play. And we'll let the splash screen fade in and fade out. And the same for the others. We'll make sure everything's working up until this point. So controller detected, game will now start. And if I just grab the controller, let's select a one player game. And as you can see, it's fading out. And I'm probably going to adjust these fade in values because they are taking a little bit too long. But as you can see, we've come to choose character. The character model is in the scene. Now it's not exactly where I'd like him. I'd like him a little bit more over to the left, I think. And obviously he's just in the T pose. However, we are going to implement where animations play within this scene. But we're going to do that at a later date. First thing we want to do is just get some of the basics in place. So Let's press left or right. So in this case, because we're at zero, pressing left won't do anything. So let's press right. And as you can see, it gets rid of the old model and imports the new one. And if I press left now, I can go back. Can't go any back, further back than the black. I don't know if you can hear me clicking on the analog stick but let's go all the way to the right as you can see I can't go too fast because of the button delay we come to gold and we cannot go any further so that's working absolutely fine but um, let's just stop that there and while we're in this scene let's just assign some music to this scene and I'll just use that one. I'm using public domain music and sound effects. Now, I would not use these in a finished project, but I think we can all understand why we why I'm using copyright free material for the purposes of YouTube. So let's do that for all our scenes. We'll remember to save. Let's see, controller warning. Controller not detected now. Let's have a look. We'll just assign that one 
and we'll come back to the scenes main menu we'll remember to save that off main menu music so I'll use the other one we'll come to sounds let's have a look So I've used these in projects before, so I think in this case we'll use that one for the quit and that one for the start button. So let's come back to scenes again. I'm going to come back to the splash screen now. Let's open up that script. So fade speed. Um going to change that to 0 0.25F and I don't know why all my comments have decided to uh, sort of jumble up but um, oh well we'll deal with that shortly so controller warning That's the one. Let's come into here. I'll keep that one at 0 0.25. Let's look at the main menu. And main menu fade speed. Again, we'll change that to 0 0.25F. Um, in fact... I think I'll make it 0.35F. I want the main menu to sort of fade in fairly quickly. And again, we'll downsize that. We'll allow it to recompile. Then we'll hit play again and we'll see how that's looking. Let's come back to the splash screen. So hopefully you can hear the audio now coming through it's fading back out so no music in the controller warning we'll hit one player so we've now got a tone and yes the music doesn't sound good because it's only a short little clip um, which really could do with a longer piece of music. So I'll have to find one out for that. So let's get rid of these scripts now. And let's come back to here. And we're going to come up to the top here. We'll create public of type audio clip and we'll just put select, we'll call this underscore and we want select character button press. In fact, now I'm going to change this let's put cycle character button press let's close that line off into the comments so we'll say create slot in inspector to assign audio clip when cycling through the characters so let's come down to our void update and now we need to play that sound effect when we actually register a input so it will have to come after this if block and I'll just put it here let's see how should work absolutely fine 
prime. So audio source. Open and close brackets again. Again, play one shot. Open and close brackets. Close the line off. And what we want is that one we have just created. Let's enter there for commenting. So we'll just put in the comments, get audio component. Onto the next line and we'll say and play cycle button press audio clip. Let's copy that line or two lines as we've broken them up now. Let's paste it in below here again. But remember it must come after this return block. So let's just save that off there. We'll downsize that and we'll come back to the choose character screen as you can see we've now obviously able I'm going to use a gunshot sort of sound because I want a dramatic sound because this is a fighting game and uh, again I am limited to what public domain clips I can find but again that's just for the purposes of YouTube would not be used in a final product so Let's start everything up. So that's quite a loud audio. It definitely gives you some example. Now what we're going to do is, again, in a coming video, we're going to have like um, an animation for the camera. So it basically looks like the whole scene is shaking up on choosing or selecting a different character to really you know give a dramatic feel to the scene and again obviously please bear in mind we will be adding animations that play during this scene because I know it does look a little bit odd with the character just stood in a T pose at the moment but the important thing is is that everything's loading up and being destroyed when it's supposed to be so a little bit of a, of a different video for you this time a few little tweaks and basically just testing but please don't worry in the next video we'll be back to scripting and we're going to basically improve on what we've created so far because everything still looks and feels a little bit basic which I do not want. I want it to feel more like a polished product so we will be improving and refining everything we've done so far and then we'll continue on and create new features because I know that a lot of you are really eager to get round to the fighting portion of this series. But again, as I said, this isn't about rushing through. This is supposed to be an in-depth series where we deliver some sort of polished product at the end. So I hope you can all understand that. But I will leave it here for this lesson. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.